Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Premier. Speaker, did the Premier abide by her own party's constitution and send a letter to the Const Constituency Association and the nomination president as soon as she made her decision as soon as she made her decision to appoint Glenn Tebow? That, that, uh, stop the clock. Given, uh, I've been given serious consideration in listening very carefully to all of the questions, and in, in most cases, if members have been able to pull everything back to government policy. That's getting dangerously close to having no contact. I'm going to advise the member to make his question adhere to pulling it into government policy. Carry on. Premier. Very much, Mr. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And uh, as I have said repeatedly this morning, um, there are <coughs> questions that will be asked as part of an investigation. That investigation is taking place outside of this House, Mr. Speaker, and is, it is being undertaken by authorities. And I will uh, I will work with the authorities outside of this House, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Supplement. Thank you, Speaker. Yes, uh, Premier. We too are anxious for the criminal trial to start. However, it doesn't preclude you from actually answering some very basic questions, Speaker. If the Premier sent a letter. That would back up her version of the story. Why is she refusing? Stop the clock, please. Order, please. Order, please. Order, please. Uh, and I know I'm on the right track when I get accused by one side of not asking these people to be quiet, and then on this side asking these people to be quiet when they themselves make noise while they're answering. So I, I will do my best in this chair, and I don't need the armchairs. Please finish. Speaker, if the Premier sent a letter that would back up her version of the story, why is she refusing to release it? Is it because it actually doesn't exist? Deputy Premier. Deputy Premier. Uh, Speaker, there are many, many differences between the NDP and the Ontario Liberal Party. Many, many differences. One of those is that we have a very clear process whereby the leader of the party is entitled to exercise her right to appoint candidates. In stark contrast, the NDP chooses to, to use other tactics when they have a preferred candidate. They do not have that clarity that we have in the Ontario Liberal Party, which is why we have seen the disgraceful contact in Scarborough-Guildwood, where longtime members of the New Democrat Party have have been forced to leave the party. I've been forced to leave the party because their wishes have been uh, trampled on by uh, the leader of the NDP. So I do believe that Amarjeet Kaur Shah. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. That's time.